Love here, and I came on here today to share with you a little project I created. It was actually part of a collaboration I did with two of my uh, YouTube friends, and I know that you all know them already, especially if you follow me, but I thought I would introduce them to you just in case. So the first one is my friend Angie, who is with Mountain Girl Studios. All right, now you know there is a link below to her channel. You need to follow it. She's absolutely amazing. And I have um, her artwork on um, a bag, on a pair of leggings. I love it. I love her artwork. I also have one of her beautiful journals. I've also ordered another one of her journals for a friend. I mean, I love it. Everything she touches is just beautiful. And she does have a website. Um, and she also has some of her artwork on some Bergen stocks this year. Amazing. Angie, congratulations. I'm so proud of you and thank you for agreeing to um, be in this collaboration with us. So thankful. All right, so my next friend, I know you all know her. Let me get it, let me get it pulled up. Spell it right though, okay. <laughs> my friend Abby from um, Purple Cottage Crafts I just love you, Abby. So here is Abby's YouTube channel. And of course, there will be a link to her channel below. Is my camera, you guys, my camera's like, no, I don't want to focus. But anyway, there's, a, there's a, a link below. And she also just launched a website that has some amazing fabrics. You know, fabrics is one of my absolute favorite things. And I love Abby's channel. I have done probably more tutorials from Abby's channel than anybody else's. So there's just a wealth of crafty information over there. You should definitely go check it out. And Abs, thanks so much for doing this collaboration with me. I appreciate you both so much and you always make me smile. <laughs> so thank you. So we decided we were gonna create kind of a spring uh, wall hanging and we were gonna include flowers on it. So. I decided to make mine out of fabric and I started by making my like um, I feel like Frankenstein fabric is such, not a nice way to describe how cute this is so it's like I like to call it like snippet fabric where I take um, a bunch of snippets of different fabric and then make it into one piece of fabric on its own so that is what the background is and I just love it and I left all the stitches showing because I don't know, I'm about that too. So after I created the snippet fabric, I put down um, a snippet of lace in the background and then I added this adorable bird image that I had printed on fabric. And I just zigzag stitched around that. And then I decided on what flowers I was gonna do. And you know, I love a yo-yo, but I was concerned because I had never tried to make yo-yos this small. That is a small <laughs> yo-yo. But here's proof that it can be done. It was challenging, but it was fun. So I had a good time. I, I made all the yo-yos and then I hand stitched them down. And then of course I hand stitched all the buttons on. And then I tried to make some stems. I don't have a lot of skills with fancy stitches. Now I can hand sew stuff down all day. It's one of my favorite things, but the stitches, that's going to need some work, but I'm willing to work on it. It's fun. And so then I added, of course, some lace dangles to the bottom, just because you know how much I love my projects to just have dangly bits. So I did uh, use my machine to sew those on. And then I added this um, cute little, um, dimensional butterfly applique that I had and I hand sewed that on and then I used my machine to add this hanger and then I wrapped a popsicle stick in some seam binding so that um, because if you don't have this here and it's just fabric without any kind of stabilizer it just kind of folds in on itself so that keeps that from doing that so it will hang nicely and it's so sweet and it was so fun to work on like a spring project when um, it's was still basically winter. I mean, I'm in Maine and if um, any of my, if 
any of you are gardeners out there, you know I'm in zone four. So that means winter is basically forever. And I have a grow season about that long. So it was fun to <laughs> hand stitch some things in uh, with looking at the snow outside and dreaming of spring. So <laughs> there it is. I hope you love it. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. And go over and check out the other ladies' videos. I can't wait to see what they made. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And thank you again, ladies, for collabing with me. And I hope we can do it again soon. Bye, everybody.